So today we are going to play some solo rank. As you can see, the ban went as usual. But I felt like something is open. Then I came to realize that is a new hero in. So I wanted to pick it. But the issue is. Yeah, 14 games with a 42% win rate. My team really doesn't want to trust me. I mean, come on, it's not their fault. Even I wouldn't trust anyone if so this kind of win rate. So I decided to convince them somehow because I want to play this hero. But they didn't really swap me. But before I'm going to pick this hero, I do need to give some explanation to them because I don't really want them to get pissed off because that could lead them to throw the game. This is a more common scenario in the solo rank. So I texted them, I fuck up my win rate in classic, so chill out. And then I picked it. For the emblem, I usually go for the high end ray emblem because he is more efficient when it's come to 1v1. And even in this game, I'm going to do in as a side lane. So I chose high end ray. For the build, this is what I'm using right now. In the previous video, I told you guys not to use a breathless because I felt it pretty much useless at that time. But guess what? It is totally wrong. Bloodless is pretty much everything for Ian. So do add this item in your build and kindly copy the other build too. And this is how the final draft looks. And we have 3 late game and what we have is a pretty much early game heroes. So we have to end the game early. If it gone late, they have the advantage. As usual, just like any other side lane, I'm just clearing the wave in my lane. But what I'm doing here might be different of what you do. As soon as I cleared my lane, I'm rotating to the mid lane. Not only because I could help the team, but also I can get extra farm from the minions in the mid lane. But you might ask, BK, what about mage? If I take the minions from the mid lane, how the mage will get the farm? Well, I would say, fuck the mage. If you are playing a 5 man, it is a totally different story. But you are playing solo rank, right? And in most of the time, your team is not going to rotate to your lane. Well, in that case, you definitely need more farm and you are going to steal it from the mid lane. Even without seeing the HP, our random tank just initiated this fight. Of course, it ended so bad by giving them 2 free kills. For the combos, use it like this. First use your second skill towards a target and then click the ultimate. By doing that, he will be already stunned inside your ultimate. Use your second skill again, stun him again and use your first skill, easy kill. When you are playing in, always remember, the faster you come outside of your ultimate, the more advantage you can take from your first skill. If there is no one in your lane, try to suck all the gold from the turret. Because the turret alone give you more than 500 gold. And if you completely destroy the turret, it will give you 200 something gold. Which is more than enough for you to buy your first item. No one in my lane, so I easily managed to take the turret from my lane. And if you are playing against Parats, remember, if he is that small, he can't really do anything against. Just use the combos I taught you, anyone will fall for that easily. Now let's fast forward the game. I thought there is no one in the bot lane, but unfortunately the sun came. Here we go again. After taking out the hyper, I easily managed to take out the mid turret, which is actually an important turret. And then we took the lord, I secured the kill of Masco, and then I died. Then my team managed to kill 4 of the enemy and only Sun was there so I ulted him and I killed him, game ended. So what do you think about this video? Do you like it? Do let me know what you guys think in the comment section. See you in the next video, stay safe and thank you for watching.